All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. Joining me now, Republican Congressman from the great state of Tennessee, Marsha Blackburn. She's the chairman of the Congressional Select Committee on Infant Lives and vice chair of the Congressional Committee on Energy and Commerce. Welcome back, Congressman. Good to speak to you again. It is so good to be with you. Thank you. My pleasure. All right. So when you sat here last week, uh, we had no idea that uh, reportedly Anthony Weiner uh, would be responsible for what he's responsible for. So let me, let me ask you, Hillary Clinton said today with regard to this uh, email situation, uh, there's no case here. Now that, uh, that flies in the face of what she said, you know, over the weekend, now oh, please show us all the emails. How does she know there's no case here? Well, I've got to tell you, I think it's pretty much impossible for her to know if there is a case or not because you would have to know what they have found in order to be able to make a determination if there was or was not a case. So that is what, you know, I, I think, Steve, what we have to do is just say, look, they are the masters of triangulation, as Dick Morris would call it. They are always going to look for a way to deny something, to call something false, to say that something is right when it's wrong, and to create an alternate reality. And they're masters at that creating an alternate reality and uh, trying to have people to believe it. The problem is we know that Hillary Clinton does not know what is on that computer, and she does not know with what Uma and Anthony did with those 650,000 emails. Now, I would say this, if Hillary Clinton does know what Uma and Anthony did with those 650,000 emails, they need to, she needs to step forward immediately and say, this is what they have and this is what they did with them. Yeah, and no, then no. everybody can make their mind up. A absolutely. Uh, and all she has, if she wants to know what's in the emails, really all she had to do was uh, give Uma a call. But uh, along those lines, Congressman, the woman who is by Hillary's side and has been for 20 years, almost every day, uh, you know, I, even after she had her own child, she's there with Hillary. Uh, now she's not with Hillary. Today, when Hillary referred to the case, she said a staffer of mine. She didn't even name Uma by name, I don't believe. Could be wrong, but she did say a staffer. Uh, what do you think of uh, the absence from the campaign trail of Uma? How significant is that? I, I think the absence of Uma, who has been with her every step of the way, and the fact that now she is not referred to as my top aide or one of my senior staff or my closest confidant, uh, for her not to be there and then to be referred to just as a general staffer. I think it, what Hillary doesn't realize is people know that this is who has been her top personal aide, her top assistant, the one that is closest to her, that works with her every single day. And I, I, I think it also, Steve speaks, to the absence of loyalty from the Clinton campaign, that they would think that they can be that dismissive of someone who has been in their employ for years, whether it was the uh, State Department being in the Senate or the State Department or uh, the foundation or whatever. She has been someone who has been right. on Hillary's side through all of that. Yeah, absolutely. Let me ask you finally the criticism of uh of Director Comey, uh, some calling for his resignation, some saying uh, he broke the law. Uh, what's your take on what he did Friday? I think we need to let this play out and see uh, how the FBI proceeds. I uh, was, I, I think that many people are like me. They found Comey's statements um, to be just so disconcerting when he laid out everything Hillary had done wrong, but then said there's no criminal wrongdoing. And that is something that seemed as if he was saying one thing, but his action was another. And at this point, I think we need to wait to hear from the FBI and see what we know, and, and then we'll have a better idea. Uh, of what we are, are dealing with. But at this point, I think we're kind of in a wait-and-see 
posture. I do yep, think yep. it's important to realize. Yeah, I, 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 Congressman, because, Congressman, unfortunately for the next time, because we're out of time, but as always, thank you so much. Talk to you soon. Bye now.